Let us praise the Lord. O Lord God Almighty, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who by your word alone have created all rational and non-rational nature, have brought forth everything out of nothingness into being, we pray you and ask of you, cleanse from every sin your servant Reagan, whom by your will you have preserved, as she prepares to enter your holy church. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Bless also this child which has been born of her. Increase it and sanctify it. Give it understanding and a prudent and virtuous mind. For you alone have brought it into being and have shown him the light with bodily senses perceived, so that he might be accounted worthy also of the ideal light, to be numbered with your holy flock. For your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your holy, good, and life creating spirit both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our God, who on the fortieth day after your birth were brought as a child to the temple of the law by your holy mother Mary, who knew no husband, and were held in the arms of the righteous Simeon, do you, almighty Master, bless this child brought before you, the creator of all, and make him grow in every good work that is pleasing to you, and drive far from it every hostile power by the making of the sign of your cross. For you are the one who guard the infants, Lord, so that having been granted holy baptism, he may attain a share in the kingdom reserved for your chosen ones and may be guarded along with us by the grace of the holy and consubstantial and indivisible trinity. For to you belong all glory and thanksgiving and worship together with your beginningless Father and your all-holy good and life-giving spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O God, the Father Almighty, who by the loud voice prophet Isaiah has foretold to us the incarnation from a virgin of your only begotten Son in our God, who in the latter days, by your good pleasure and by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, have filled through measureless love to become a child of her for the salvation of men. And according to the custom of your holy law, after the fulfillment of the days of purification submitted to be brought into the sanctuary, being himself a true lawgiver, and willed to be carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon, of which mystery we have a prototype declared in the aforementioned prophet by the taking of the coals with the tongs from the altar, and of which we, the faithful, also have an imitation in grace. You who are he that watches over infants, yourself, O Lord, bless this child together with its parents and sponsors, Account it worthy at the fitting time to be born again of water and of the Spirit. Number with your holy flock of rational sheep who are called by the name of your Christ. For you are he who dwells on high and gives regard to the things which are lowly. And to you we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. The servant of God, Elijah, is brought within the church in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I shall enter the house, O Lord. I shall worship your holy temple. The servant of God, Elijah, is brought within the church in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the middle of the church shall I praise you. The servant of God, Elijah, is brought within the church in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. (laughs) 
Du Kyrie, du Eithomme.